eight, eight seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. And liftoff as Falcon 9 and Cargo Dragon take flight, bound for the International Space Station with fresh supplies and research, helping to maintain our human presence in space as the station celebrates its 20th anniversary. We expect a small throttle back in the engines as the vehicle enters max Q, or maximum aerodynamic pressure. So we hear that call for max Q, as well as the vehicle now entering supersonic. And the engines are back up to power. That max Q a result of still passing through the atmosphere while the speed is drastically increasing. In about a minute we're going to see a number of actions happen in very rapid succession. Yeah, chill. At about 2.23 we're going to see the main engines cut off. At about 2.26, the first stage will separate and fall away to head back here to the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. At 2.33, the second stage engine will ignite that Merlin vacuum engine. And at 2.39, the first stage will initiate its boost back burn to return here. There we have main engine cutoff. Nico. Stage separation confirmed. And confirm first stage step. Stage one boost back and startup. Ignition. There we have a boost back burn. The second stage has ignited. The first stage's main objective is really to get the, the Dragon spacecraft out of the atmosphere, which it has succeeded in doing. The second stage is now into its mission to deliver the Dragon into its specific orbit. What you're seeing on screen right now is our tracking cameras really working to follow that first stage back as it returns to the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. Stage one boost back shutdown. So the boost back burn is complete. There are a, at least a couple more burns required to get that first stage back down here to the earth, which we'll keep a close eye on. Stage two is following the nominal trajectory. So there's a signal at Bermuda. We just heard a great call, the second stage there, nominal trajectory. And there you can see on screen, that is a, a view looking at the engine for the second stage. Thank you, Daryl. Now, uh, for those of you just joining us, we may have said it before, but this is SpaceX's 20, 20th launch of 2018, and we're launching a flight-proven Dragon spacecraft today, which visited the International Space Station once before for our CRS-10 mission all the way back in March of 2017. You can hear some applause behind us as everything is going great. Uh, both Falcon 9 and Dragon were designed with reflight in mind, so the vehicle hardware is built to support multiple missions with minimal refurbishment in between. And while this Dragon has flown once before, the booster we're flying today is actually brand new. And in just a few moments, we'll be bringing that first stage back to land at landing zone one at Cape Canaveral so that it can fly again on future missions. 
Now, in order to make its way back to the landing zone, the first stage executes a series of three burns. The first is a boost back burn, which helps to slow the rocket down horizontally. Shortly after this burn is initiated, the grid fins, which you can see right on your screen, uh, located near the top of the first stage, are deployed, and they help guide the rocket during descent. Following the boost back burn, Falcon 9 executes a re-entry burn to slow itself down before hitting the dense part of the atmosphere. Let's watch the action for a moment. So right now we're looking at the second stage and you're looking at that MVAC-D engine, which is our Merlin vacuum engine, which only operates in space. Now it looks like, uh, as you guys saw a little bit earlier, that the first stage might not be hitting its target, but the second stage is still heading right there. It says, if you guys can hear the cheer in the background from my team members, it seems that the uh, first stage has made a water landing, uh, which uh, again is not the primary mission here. We still have the Dragon capsule headed to the International Space Station. Uh, it is a bummer that we weren't able to capture and uh, reland the first stage, but again, not our primary mission, so we are still on track to complete this mission. Up next, we've got Dragon separation from the top of that second stage, which will get a, give us a glimpse inside Dragon's trunk. Uh, as mentioned earlier in the broadcast, Dragon carries cargo both inside the capsule, which is referred to as pressurized cargo, and in its trunk, referred to as unpressurized cargo. And it looks like we have clean separation. You can see inside the trunk right there. What a beautiful shot. With Dragon deployed, the next major milestone will be deployment of the solar arrays as Dragon makes its way to the International Space Station.